Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lauren, and today's video is a mix video, so everything that I've been sewing recently. So, first things first, going straight into it, is the McCall's M7330, and I made view F, which the lovely model is wearing on the front here, and I did actually also make it in a denim fabric. Um, I'm going to insert some uh, pictures, because I've currently got it drying, um, and it needs an iron and things like that. I've washed it because I've recently worn it. And the intention of this make was to wear it down at the allotment, um, which is what I have been doing. So it's constantly covered in mud and things like that. Um, but I loved the idea of making it out of denim, something really easy to wear, and it's going to be hard wearing. Um, the fabric, I bought it from Pound Fabrics. I think it was on offer when I bought it. Um, it might have been something like £3 a metre. I know it was a really affordable price. Um, and yeah absolutely love it and I think it's going to do exactly what it says on the tin um, going to be a really hard wearing piece um, and easy to just chuck on and go down the allotment um, now I don't think this necessarily needs to be sort of made as a scruffy outfit always I think it would look absolutely gorgeous if it was made and worn with a pair of heels or even flats um, you could definitely wear it out to dinner that sort of thing you know lunch um, and you could also make it in other fabrics and I think it would be absolutely stunning um but yeah so let's look at sizes um so the sizes go from a bust 29 and a half inches to 48 inches i cut it out in a medium which is bust 34 to 36 inches waist 26 and a half to 28 inches and hip 36 to 38 inches now my bust is a 36 currently i can't remember exactly what it was when I cut this pattern out um but that would be sort of just on the end of the medium size my waist is a 30 which does actually fall into a large um and then my hip is 38 which again is just on that end measurement of a medium um but as I say that's my current measurements I have fluctuated in my sizes slightly because I was training for a marathon and then I did the marathon and then I stopped running pretty much at all because my knees are injured um so I dare say my measurements have gone up slightly recently but I have wore this jumpsuit um in the last couple of weeks and it's still fit um just being on that end of the medium so yeah really comfortable to wear um really easy to sort of kneel down on the floor and crawl around in my raised beds that sort of thing um even in this denim fabric which actually has no stretch in it at all um so yeah really beautiful piece and I'm looking forward to remaking it in a different fabric and having it as more of a everyday wear piece rather than just for down at the allotment now the next outfit that I wore I think I've covered everything on there Next outfit that I made, sorry, definitely not wore, was the kids' dungarees. Um, now these are from, is the brand is Simply Sewing, which I think is the magazine, and it was designed by Made By Me Patterns. Now I got this pattern from somebody who I know who's moving house and was doing a de-stash, um, so I bought this pattern off of her. Um, she hadn't used it, she hadn't opened it at that point. Um, sorry, the dog is just down here and he wants to come in the room and he's distracting me. Um, but yeah, so this, I made the pattern um, out of actually some fabric that I got from that lady as well. Um, so I, sorry, I don't know where she bought it from, but I know it's been in her stash for quite a while. So I don't know if it would even be available now. Um, but it was a cotton jersey um, and I made the aged three to six months um, in the shorts version of the dungarees and I made that for a friend of mine who's recently had a baby um, so that by the time she wears it she will fit into aged three to six months um, but yeah really beautiful I'll uh, load a picture up here um, I did notice that I had some um, it sort of gathered the fabrics on the sides. I used my serger to do it, um, my overlocker, and I know now what I would do differently to not have that pulling at the side, um, but at the time I didn't know any better. Um, so yeah, it's, it is what it is, and it's just sort of 
a piece that she'll wear in the garden probably in the summer um just a comfortable outfit which is shorts um and yeah I think it's still adorable but yeah there is just things that I would do differently with the settings on my machine to not have that pulling at the side um but yeah really gorgeous piece and I definitely will be making it again um it goes from ages one to three months to nine to ten years so that's going to be a really versatile um pattern and I definitely would make it again it was so easy to make um and i'll probably remake her this as the years go on for the next 10 years this child will be wearing these dungarees because it was super easy to make um it's got the sort of poppers to put the straps on um and i got the ones that you sort of squeeze on not the sew on ones um which is what the pattern recommends um yeah and it's just gorgeous and adorable so that's that pattern now next up um again something that i made not for me i'm doing a lot of selfless sewing here um is the mccall's m6044 um this is the shirt version and i did view a um so i made this for my dad and it was just the straight view a i didn't make any changes to it so it just had the one pocket i'll upload a picture here um now i made the size small and my dad's measurements came out at the smallest version of all of those measurements on the small um so i think it was can't find the measurements now can't find the measurements on here i'm having a moment um but yeah he came out at the smallest version. oh it's on the top isn't it that's why because it's open what a wally um, but yeah, so size is small is chest 34 to 36 inches and waist 28 to 30 inches. So I think he was a 34 and a 28. Um, but this pattern goes up to an XXX large and it's 54 to 56 inches for the chest and 50 to 52 inches for the waist. Um, but yeah, so I think he was a 34 and a 28 um, and it fits him absolutely beautifully. Um, the fabric that I used was from Minerva um, and it was there can't think of the name again it was the timeless treasures cotton poplin i think and i bought it in aqua now the last time i checked the other day that aqua wasn't available as a color um but they did have lots of other options available including some nice blues um but yeah really gorgeous looked really good on him my dad doesn't do social media or pictures so i'm just gonna include the pictures of it hung up here um but it was a really easy pattern to make i think I saw um, Devon Threadtails make it, I think, it was the first person, I think she made it for her husband, um, but yeah, and then I thought that is going to be the shirt that I make, it's exactly the sort of shirt that he would wear, um, and yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that, I really took my time on the shirt, um, I think possibly because it wasn't for me, and I know that, yeah, I wanted him to wear it out, I wanted him to want to wear it out, um, so yeah, I really took my time. I really finished everything beautifully. I unpicked the collar about 25 times to get it exactly how I wanted it. Um, the button holes, I loved them. I mean, that is the scariest part of making a shirt, is it not? Doing the button holes and then opening them with the seam ripper at the end. Whew, honestly, there there was there was some nervous emotion there. Um, but yeah, I I really liked the end product. I was really quite proud of it um actually the only change that I did make was on the collar I added a button um so the button on the shirt piece underneath the collar and then a button hole on the collar just so that he could button that collar down because he that was something that he asked for he doesn't like it when the collar sort of lifts up sometimes um so I just added that in myself just sort of by eye um I added that on I used a smaller size button than what I did for the button placket um but yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I do actually have one of the tools that, um, I'm going to call it like a buttonhole chisel, but you sort of make your buttonhole and then you put the tool over the top and you sort of hammer it down to cut the hole in the buttonhole. But I just find that so difficult to actually get it to go through the fabric. I don't know if the one that I've got is a bit blunt or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I did just put a pin one end of the buttonhole and then I used a seam ripper. I find that easier um but obviously the pin stops you from going too far um but yeah definitely definitely would make that shirt again absolutely loved it 
uh, let's move on to something that isn't a garment, but I've made it recently. This was using the fat quarters from a So Haley Jane box last year at some point. Um, the pattern is my own, I just made it up as I went along. As you can see, I didn't interface any of this, it's just the cotton as is. Um, and this is basically, it holds all of my sort of exercise equipment, so um, balance balls, resistance bands. I've got a skipping rope in the front pocket here, and then I just added these straps at the back just for my foam roller. Um, now, oh, and the straps, they're just from Hobbycraft. They're just sort of in with their trims. Um, but yeah, as I say, I just made that pattern up as I went along. I just had a look at what I wanted you to use the bag for, what the items were, so how much I sort of room I'd roughly need in it. Um, and then, yeah, just made it up as I went along. It was a really quick make. Um, it's not perfect, but my intention isn't really to take it out of the house. It'll just purely be so that I've got all of my bits and pieces up together. So that if I do want to do a workout, I can just grab that bag um, and take it to whichever room in the house I'm doing my workout. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. Let me show you a close up of the fabric again. Um, so as I said, this was fat quarters from a So Haley Jane box. And... I can't remember what the theme of the box was that month, but it was all to do with sort of yoga and wellness. So here we've got doing a bit of meditation with some house plants. Um, here we've got our workout outfits um, and yoga mats. I've got namaste on the back. Um, and I think that says relax. Oh, it says exhale. Um, and then, yeah, this one down here was more ladies doing workouts and yoga. So yeah really fun and I as soon as I got this box with these fat quarters in I knew that I wanted to make some sort of bag to put my workout stuff in um but yeah that was last year at some point and I've only just got around to making it um but now that I've made it I'm really pleased with it because I can just sort of hang it on the back of the door um you know like hooks on the back of the door that sort of thing so it's just out of the way um and having somewhere to put your foam roller as well because they really get in the way um but yeah I'm really pleased with that make is not the most perfect thing I've ever made um but it's practical and therefore I love it um and then final make we're moving on to the gorgeous gorgeous dress that I'm wearing today um I'm gonna insert some pictures of it again so that you can see it because this room isn't big enough for me to show you the full outfit if I step back um this fabric, I think this was from a local fabric shop. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If I've done a fabric haul and I've got it from somewhere different, do correct me. But I'm pretty certain it was from my local fabric shop. Um, but it is, of course, the Mabel by Tilly and the Buttons. And let me tell you, oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Sometimes I will make or try on, even if it's ready to wear, I'll try on dresses that are super girly and super flouncy and frilly and pretty and I'll feel like a bit of a silly sausage but and when I was making this particularly it was this front area I just thought oh, I'm not sure I think it's a bit girly for me I think it's a bit pretty I'm quite a practical girl um but oh I just love it but I was worried that I would feel a bit I don't know I saw it on other people and I absolutely loved it obviously that's why I bought it but as I was making this I thought oh I don't know if it's just a bit too frilly for me but then I put it on and oh, love it love it love it love it um so let's talk sizes so I got the pdf version of this pattern so I don't have it to hold um but I then projected it onto my wall, which if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me do. Um, so it wasn't a projector pattern, which I know some sewing pattern companies will make a specific projector pattern and it makes it way easier to trace it off. Um, and you can sort of put that projector pattern straight down onto the fabric and you can just cut it out as you go. But I just projected because I don't have a printer. I projected the pattern onto the wall, made sure that the test square was exactly the right size, blue tacked my paper roll up onto the wall and then I just traced it off. Then I put it onto my fabric and cut it out and I did find that way easier, particularly easier than trying to print off a PDF pattern, match it 
and stick it all together that drives me absolutely nuts couldn't ever do that um but i did use the copy shop version so the a0 version so it wasn't all of the separate sort of individual pdf patterns where you sort of print each one onto an a4 piece of paper i just did the ao copy shop version straight onto the wall so it was just one thing and i've got a roll of fabric um roll of fabric roll of paper um sort of like the craft paper from hobby craft stuck it straight onto the wall and my pattern pieces fit um so yeah it just a gorgeous pattern um so yeah it's the tilly and the beth tilly and the buttons mabel um it goes from sizes 6 to 34 in uk uh, sizes the my measurements at the moment almost fit exactly the size four of the tilly and the buttons patterns so that would be a 36 inch bust a 30 inch waist and a 39 inch hips but i've got 36 inch bust 30 inch waist and 38 inch hips so that's almost exactly the hips are one inch out however i was being lazy and i didn't measure myself at all and i just thought i always make a size three in tilly and the buttons so i'm going to make a size three and actually i don't know if i got my seam allowance off slightly because when i then tried the dress on it was too big so I think that was a me problem, not a Tilly problem. Um, but do just bear that in mind. Um, I think I went a bit small on my seam allowances. Um, but yeah, so I made a size three. I put it on and I thought I could have made a size two here. But then reading the sizes of the garments, I thought, no, I couldn't have done. But basically what we've got is we've got elastic in the sleeves here. Uh, no we haven't that's a complete lie we've got shirring in the sleeves here so that gives a gorgeous fit on the arm we've got elastic around the sleeve we've got elastic around the top but it looks like it's gathered with these ties it's not it's elastic that's all false um and better in my opinion um and then if i just stand up slightly around the waist there you've got shirring um which is a dream and beautiful um and would recommend it to anybody um but yeah so it's got lots of give in it anyway so even if you did make slightly the wrong size i think you'd get away with it um because of that so obviously the finished garment measurements the hip is way bigger than what the body measurements are um because of that sharing you've got loads of room to play with um but yeah, the only adjustment that I made was I cut it shorter um, than what the dress should be at. So it should be a longer length, um, but I just cut it shorter just to suit me a little bit more um, and be a little bit more practical for me and my requirements out of a dress. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that I wouldn't make it in the full length version um, next time. But yeah, oh, I just... It just feels such a nice dress to wear. Um, I put it on this morning and I just felt instantly put together. It's gorgeous sunshine outside today. Um, and yeah, oh, I feel lovely in it and I can't wait to make it again. Um, this fabric is a cotton fabric um, and yeah, this is, this is going to be worn a lot in summer because I absolutely love it. And it's one of those, it's is it secret pyjamas because it's a dress i don't feel like that's the right thing to say um but it really is like secret pyjamas because it is so comfortable and i just feel so put together instantly by just throwing a dress on how easy is that you don't even need to match it with a pair of trousers or anything like that but you can make this in a top um but yeah i just felt instantly put together i felt like i was cheating it fashion because I just felt so good in it immediately after putting it on. So yeah, highly recommend the Mabel to anybody. Um, so obviously I made the dress version, but you can make it in the top or like the blouse version, which let me just show you, would cut off around here. So it would cut off around the hip and you still get that beautiful sharing around the waist. So I just think, isn't that just a gorgeous top? That would be like if you're going out for drinks and you want to wear jeans and a nice top this is the nice top this is it this is what you need to make um but yeah i think this fabric does the pattern justice as well um as soon as i saw the mabel i thought i've got the fabric and i know exactly what i'm using i know exactly the fabric that i'm using for that pattern but yeah so as you can tell 
if you couldn't tell, I love this pattern. It is the highlight of all of my makes. It's my favourite thing that I've made in a long time. Um, you'll probably know if you've watched my channel, I love the Tilly patterns, I really do. The instructions were so easy to follow. Um, I just kept them up on my phone whilst I was sewing, so I didn't print off the instructions or anything. Um, but they're in colour and they've got colour pictures as you're going through and Tilly does also do video tutorials as well for the make um, so you sort of scan I think it's a QR code at the top of the instructions and you then get directed to a video that Tilly's done showing you how to make it but the instructions were so clear that I didn't even need to go and watch the video and I am a person that I'm a real visual learner and if I watch someone do something I'm like yeah okay I get it now but I don't always I'm not always that able to follow written instructions, um, particularly for sewing, because I get all upside down and inside out, but oh, Tilly does it perfectly. And you will know, if, again, if you followed me on Instagram, I think I put up a story just saying, like, I don't know how Tilly and her team managed to do it, but their instructions are just perfect. Right, anyway, I'm fangirling and embarrassing myself a little bit over Tilly here, but I, I just think she does a phenomenal job. And... Any, I'm just gonna stop but there we are so that's all of my makes um so I hope you've enjoyed this video um I hope if you were umming and ahhing about purchasing the Mabel I hope that's convinced you to do so because I think everybody should have a Mabel in their wardrobe be it the blouse or the dress um I'm definitely going to make the blouse next I actually have I think enough of this fabric to make the blouse and I think I would wear the blouse as much as I would wear the dress. Um, so I'm I'm tempted to make the blouse version in this fabric as well, because I love this fabric. Blue and white is my favourite um, combination of colours on a fabric anyway. Oh, but yes, there we are. I'm going to stop going on about this pattern now. I hope Chilly never watches this video because I'll just be embarrassing myself. Right, anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed catching up with me. Um, I will catch you in the next one. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have made the Mabel or if you've purchased it and just haven't made it yet. Highly recommend that you do. Um, but I will catch you in the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe. I think I've said that already. Have a nice week. See you later. Bye bye.